Hey guys, it's your Ford Mustang here, and today we are going to be reviewing the new Bugatti Vision GT, which is the newest, most expensive car in ultimate driving, and it's the newest car that gives the most cash back per mile in which you can purchase with credits. So anyways, let's take a look and see what this new beast has to offer. Here it is, we got the 2015 Bugatti Vision GT, or in fictional terms, the 2015 Mosin Ancel de V concept, and you can find this under the Mosin brand as well. So if we scroll back up here, you'll notice that this thing has a top speed of 280 miles per hour. 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds and a cash back of $1,937 which is really good bang for your buck. You get a drivetrain which is all wheel drive like most Bugattis if not all of them and here's where the price tag gets you. It is 36 million credits making it the most expensive car in the game. So if you're willing to spend 36 million credits, then you got a great money maker on your hands. Anyhow, let's go ahead and purchase this thing and take a further look at it. And there you go guys, I'm broke. I now only have 7.3 million before I had a 43 million. So that was a lot of credits that just went down drain. Now take a further look at this car. I will be going over the looks and everything that this car has to offer on it. Before I go over the car, I just want to show you some of the cool customization with the paint. If you notice, the main paint will mainly cover the body of the car like you see the parts that go over the headlights, the grill, and on the doors, and the engine bay, stuff like that. So it can customize the color to your own liking. The accent paint mainly deals with the, the secondary color what goes around the rear on the roof and going up towards the front where the main color intersects with that special part and the bumper. So if you want to take a look and see what that does, here's a preview. And then the territory paint, what's really cool about that is that it covers the handles that's there for the Bugatti Vision GT. So if I want to change my territory color, I can if I want to. So here's what I think about the looks on this vehicle. I personally think it looks incredible with the color options you can put on there with even a territory color for the door handles. The way that the Bugatti Vision GT was designed is in a very unique way and I think it looks very cool. Some people may think it's the opposite but this is how I personally think about the looks on this vehicle. I mean you gotta admire the massive wing they put on this Bugatti Vision GT. What also looks incredible on the rear is that they have quad exhaust pipes but there's nothing ordinary about these quad exhaust pipes. What's very interesting with the Bugatti Vision GT is that the pipes literally go in curves two at a time to form an interesting pattern of quad exhaust. Now that's something I've never seen before. 
In addition to that, you see all those like modifications, extra aerodynamics to make it a faster sear line. The overall car just looks very good. And personally, you may have different color combinations. There are plenty of color combinations that this car would look great in. I personally just think it would be very cool to have pink and purple on the Vision GT with blacked out wheels. Just gotta admire those modifications they put on the car. Some people may say it's ugly, but I think it's an incredible looking car and something that would be a very nice car to drive in. If you can name anything about aerodynamics physically on the looks of this car, you can name it because it's everywhere. Even around the engine bay. Now before I get into the full review, there are some quirks and features I'd like to show you. The first thing is rather interesting approach. If you look into the car, you'll notice that the license plate is actually behind the seats, which is a very weird and unique place to put a license plate in. You don't see that on any of the other cars. If you own the Belide, you may remember that the license plates literally touch the front of the exhaust and it's mounted there. Now, things have gotten even weirder and crazier with the Vision GT and its license plate position being right behind the seats. And another quirk and feature that this car has is that this car can only seat one person. It may look like you can seat two people, but really the driver's seat is the only seat that is functional in this vehicle. So now here are the headlights. So I tried using the turn signals and anytime when I press X, Z, or C, nothing happens with the headlights nor the taillights. So don't expect any proper role play with the Bugatti Vision GT drivers. You won't see any drivers who are using these cars use proper turn signals because they don't work on this car. Anyhow. Let's go into the driving details. We're going to start off with the acceleration from 0 to 100 and full speed in 3, 2, 1, go. So the acceleration on the Bugatti Vision GT is about 5.5 seconds from 0 to 100, maybe in the early 5 second range, and from 0 to full speed is about 20 seconds, which is pretty good for a high. Now we are going to test out the braking on this thing. Now braking is alright. It could be better, but it's still decent. It will take some time to break. It's not like terrible or anything, but it could be better. Now we are going to test out the handling. And this thing gives you a very good amount of XP. 18,300 XP, which is Almost 6,000 more than the Bugatti La Voce Noir, and it earns 2,000 experience points less than the Ferrari 250 GTO. So you're making a very good amount of XP in Ultimate Driving when you have the Bugatti Vision GT for 36 million. So you're getting a good deal off of this. And this car has good handling. And it's also made to be very stable while grinding, which is a very good thing to have. Perhaps it's more stable than the other cars. You can see how stable this is as I'm going high speeds. And I'm just drifting off a little there, but yeah, that's 
what I have to say about all the specs on this car. And now, here are my personal thoughts about the Bugatti Vision GT. I personally think you are getting a very good deal for the price it has on the Bugatti Vision GT. And you're making an exceptionally high cast back. 1,937 credits per mile, which is very good. It's about 50 credits less than the Ferrari 250 GTO, which can only be unlocked at rank 400. So let's just say you're still on the rank 300 area and you have 36 million. Or even if you have 36 million and don't reach rank 300 yet, then this is a deal breaker. Now there is controversy onto thinking which car is the best to buy as a grinder. Let's talk about numbers over here to solve the answer. So we know that the Bugatti Bolide makes 1,556 credits per mile and the Bugatti La Voltureur makes 1,781 credits per mile. Well, if the ratio between the two cars, the Bolide appears to make more casts per mile than the La Voltureur because of its very high speed at 330 miles per hour versus 260 on the Lavolcha Noor. And the Lavolcha Moor, even though it makes a little bit more cast back than the Blight, you're at least talking about 230 credits. It doesn't really match with the Bugai Balai because it makes a little bit more credits by 230 and the Bugai Balai can still manage to make more in an hour than the Lavolcha Noor. This is on a different level though, because with the Bugatti Vision GT, you make an exceptionally high amount, like I said, 1,937 a mile, which is almost 400 more than the Bugatti Belide, 381 to be exact. And you're making a very good amount with this. and. I like to give a shout out to Venom Plays RB for helping me out on this. The Bugai Belide makes 470,000 credits per hour, while the Bugai Grand Vision GT makes 520k per hour. And the reason that is, is even though that the Bugai Vision GT maxes out at 280 miles per hour which is still 50 miles per hour slower than the Blyde. It still makes a great match into making more money because the cashback is a lot higher than the Blyde with the Vision GT. You make about 50k more per hour than you do with the Blyde. So this is a great deal. Now here comes the answer revealed. Which car is the best for a cashback, XP, and mileage now that the Bugatti Vision GT is added into the game? Well, my answer on that is if you want to earn a lot of cash and experience points, in which it'll help you get to high ranks, then I would go with the Bugatti Vision GT. The 36 million credits are worth it. However, if you want mileage as more miles on your profile, then I would go with the Bugatti Blyde and sticking with the car because that is the fastest car in the game and you will make the most miles with the fastest car in the game. But with something like the Bugatti Vision GT, in which is the most expensive car in the game, with significantly high cashback and XP rates, then the Vision GT is the best car to grind with in terms of cashback and experience points. Also, if you go into interiors such as a tunnel or take a look in the garage, they all notice that the car is entirely 
chrome, as you see the reflection on the car. This is because Roblox released indoor map reflections and Ultimate Driving with the dev team of course went along with it. And I'm sort of going to make some tweaks to lighting in the future to make it better for the game. But as of now, as I'm recording the video, you notice that when I'm in the tunnel at certain times, the car is entirely chrome as you see over here. So that's going to be the end of the video right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video very much. You may like this video. Comment in the box below for your thoughts about my review with the Bugatti Vision GT, the most expensive car in the game. Nowadays, as I'm recording this video on July 11th, 2021, when the update came out on July 10th. And in terms of all the stats you can earn in Ultimate Driving, which car is the best to grind with? Join my Discord server located in the description. And feel free to subscribe to become part of the Mustang Gang and receive new uploads on the Ford Mustang YT YouTube channel as I like to upload Ultimate Driving content. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.